Frontline health care workers are stretched thin as the COVID-19 hospitalization rate continues to climb here. But they're still showing up doing the best they can. KFTM's Jillian Ferdig talks with a doctor at Altus Lumberton Hospital. So kind of tell me a little bit from your perspective, what's going out on out there as far as on the front lines? You guys have a ton of patients there at Altus right now, I know. Yeah, so Altus is a very interesting location, kind of especially serving the community where it all kind of filters down, you know, from from the north uh, north side of us that they have to go through us before they get to Beaumont, of course. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people just can't make it the extra 40 minutes, you know, and, you know, this what we're seeing with COVID now is this resurgence, of course, with what everybody's calling the Delta variant, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the biggest thing about it is how fast it infects people, okay? We started to get a, ahead of it when people started to get vaccinated. And then now with this new variant, it just got better at its job. It's, it's getting you significantly more sick by day two, three, and four. And therefore, by the time that you come in, you're getting all those serious consequences of shortness of breath, unable to breathe, chest pain, and, and needing more supplemental, you know, oxygen and things that, that high acuity centers have. Patients are needing significantly more um, workup and more help in, in the oxygen sector. Um, and unfortunately, it's overwhelming the hospital system. Yeah, and for you guys there, you know, I know, I'm sure you get patients that maybe need to be transferred like ICU or that, you know, they need more critical care and that there's challenges right now because of bed space. I mean, how is that looking from your perspective? Unfortunately, it's, you know, there's some people that are staying here that needed an ICU bed for over six, seven days. I mean, we, everybody's doing their best. Doctors are willing to take on patients, but we just don't have them. And it's also understanding that, you know, whether it's in the healthcare or non-health or healthcare field, people are getting diagnosed with COVID and some of those are nurses, some of those are techs, and therefore they're closing down sections of hospitals because they can't staff them. I think what's important is to remember that the vaccine is not saying you can't ever get it. You just won't need hospitalizations for the most part, right? right. And I think that's the true message that we need to get out. Individuals need to understand that you know, it's not a cure, but it opens up hospital beds for the rest of the population that need it. It's doing your part for the community because now without this vaccine, people who normally wouldn't need to be in the hospital, it's your grandmother, it's your mother with a heart attack that was vaccinated without, you know, COVID can't get the treatment that they need for heart attack or for cancer. So it's a significant trickle that's happening, that it's affecting the healthcare industry in ways of just COVID, you, you know, if that's not the only issues that we're having. For you guys, I mean, there's probably patients that, I mean, you'd like to transfer, but like you just don't have a choice. So they're, you guys are just having to keep them at this point, right? Exactly. And we're doing our best with everything that we can. Uh, we've hired more staff. I mean, we're, we're, we're not necessarily hired. We're bringing in more staff. People are doing double shifts. We're doing everything that we can. Um, it's just not a normal, you know, day for us here because the volume is so high that we need extra hands. You know, we may only have a significant amount of rooms, but all the patients are requiring almost one-to-one -one care because people are very sick. We're tired. Um, we do love our job, uh, but, you know, the long-term effects is that we're, we're really just kind of demoralized with the inability to help as many as we want to.